So there I was again today, just like yesterday, buying 100 gallons of ice. There was a lady who approached me and she said, I'm guessing your fridge broke down. No, nope, my fridge is fine. Uh, oh, so you're throwing a party. Uh, I wish, but no. Uh, oh no, did someone get hurt? No, everyone's fine. I'm actually making hydrosols. Hydrosols? What are those? So that's when I realized that it actually may be helpful to explain a bit more about hydrosols. Hydrosols are not a modern invention. They've been used for thousands of years from ancient Persia to traditional Chinese medicine. However, they've only recently regained popularity. Often people confuse hydrosols with plant-infused waters, like rosemary water or rose water, which you might have heard about. It is common to use terms like herbal waters or floral waters interchangeably with hydrosol. Unlike infused waters, hydrosols are crafted through distillation, traditionally in an albamic still made of copper, capturing more of the plant's water-soluble compounds and yielding a richer essence and enhanced benefits. Some say that hydrosols embody the plant's essence distilled through the time-honored al alchemical process. In short, this is how it's done. The large amounts of herbs are placed in the column above boiling spring water. The raising steam passes through the herbs, absorbing their constituents. This vapor then travels through a swan neck into a coil and condenser, where icy water rapidly cools it, reverting it back to the liquid form. This magical process, drop by drop by drop for hours, produces the hydrosol. And that is precisely why I need this 100 gallons of ice.